afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV by Bagba Gedei on television, Hamjibru Munirat. First are the major headlines for the national news. No wonder everyone wants to be president. Peter P. Square on accountant general arrest. No plan to ban Facebook, federal government says. Victorious mood of Unam Dikano and his legal team in court. It is hard for me to find a boyfriend because of the content I post on Instagram. And I'm, I am not what you guys think, self acclaimed president of Seth Walker says. Police bust 29 deadly kidnappers, recover 41 AK 47 rifles, and others. Unrest in Abuja, police to investigate root cause of day day crisis. Finally, Hack Bishop of Canterbury, OPC condemned Deborah's lynching. Now the news in details. Peter Okoye of Peace Square Music Group has reacted to the arrest of the Accountant General of the Federation, Hamed Idris. Recall that Idris was suspended by the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed. His suspension came after the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, arrested him for diverting funds and laundering 80 billion naira. Shocked by the news, Peter urged Nigerian leaders to have conscience. According to him, Siphoning of public funds seems to be the reason everyone is contesting to be the next president of Nigeria. Habuja, the federal government said yesterday it had no intention to ban Facebook over alleged inciting statements by the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. The Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Muhammad, stated this while fielding questions from State House correspondents at the end of the Federal Executive Council, FEC meeting, presided over by President Muhammad Buhari at the Council Chamber's Presidential Villa, Abuja. Recall that Alaji Muhammad had, had a meeting with a team from Facebook in Abuja on Tuesday, asked the social media platform to prevent IPOC from using its platform to incite violence. He said, People had been killed because of the group's activities, but asked whether the federal government was contemplating banning Facebook as it did to Twitter over inciting statements by IPO. Alaji Muhammad said no such plan yet, as the government had a fruitful discussion with the social media platform. Tunam Dikano and his legal team comprising Ifai Ijiofo and Michael Zekome we are seen jubilating as they pose together for photographs following the outcome of Wednesday's court sitting, which was in favor of the detained IPOP leader, Iberi TV report. Justice Binta Nyako of the Federal High Court, Abuja, struck out federal government's six amended charges against Nambikano and fixed May 26, 2022, for ruling on Nambikano's bail application. Sharing the photo, if I need your photos on his Facebook page, for he's a jolly good fellow. We are all very optimistic of the final victory. This was our mood after his lordship ruling, bearing the new amended six count charge. The light at the end of the tunnel is gradually crystallizing. Please remain steadfast with your prayers and supplications to the almighty God, for victory is assured. A Nigerian woman, Mandy Kiss, who named herself the president of sex workers, has gone into deep sentiments on Instagram over her, over her inability to get a boyfriend due to her occupation, which is driving men away from her. According to her, it is hard for me to find a boyfriend because of the content I post on Instagram. I am not what you guys think I am. It is just the content, she says. Manikis is, a popular, is popularly known to be posting erotic and sexual suggestive content always on her Instagram account, and she termed herself as the president of sex worker, which is a major profession. The Force Intelligence Bureau Special Tactical Squad, FIBSTS, operatives have arrested 29 deadly kidnappers and others in major operations in northern part of Nigeria. The feat followed directly from the Inspector General of Police, IGP Usman Akali Baba, to clamp down on the perpetrators of crimes and criminality as well as cutting off their supply of hands. A statement issued by the first public relations officer, Muiwa Adejobi, on Wednesday said, 
the FIBSTS equally recovered a total of 61 firearms, including 41 AK, for AK rifles, 8 Type 6 rifles, 4 light assault rifles, 4 pump action guns, 2 locally made firearms, 1 G3 rifle, 1 Deng gun, 3 76 rounds of live ammunition of different calibers, and cash sum of 2 million naira from the suspects in the course of their investigation. It disclosed that a five man trans border syndicate who carries out kidnapping operations in, in between Adamawa State in Nigeria, Ambura, Fitua, and Kesu in Cameroon were arrested. Hare Jobia explained that the gang which compromised Abubakar Muhammad, 28, Chew Muhammad, 38, Abdullah Ali, 30, Abubakar Ali, 18, and Hussein Nisule, 18, all made from Mubi, Adamawa State targeted wealthy individuals who possessed beautiful houses or cars. The Federal Capital Territory Police Command has commenced, on, has commenced investigations to unravel the event that triggered unrest in the Day area of Abuja on Wednesday. Daily Coast had reported that a material market along Kubwa Zuba Expressway was attacked by hoodlums who were reportedly protesting the killing of a woman who was crushed to death after she fell from a com commercial motorbike. It was gathered that properties worth millions of naira were destroyed during the incident, as shop owners were forced to close their businesses to avoid being attacked. A statement by the Command Police Public Relations Officer, DSP Josephine Ade, said the Commissioner of Police, CP Babaji Sunday, had deployed tactical and intelligence assets of the command to the area. She said the move was to foster the destruction of private and government infrastructures, loss of lives and properties, and to restore normalcy to the affected markets and its environs. Finally, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, has condemned the lynching of a 200-level student of Sheo Shagari College of Education, Deborah Samo Yakubu, killed on the school premises for blaspheming Prophet Muhammad. Welby, who is the senior bishop and principal leader of the Church of England, the symbolic head of the worldwide Anglican Communion, and, this, and the diocesan bishop of the Diocese of Canterbury, said this in a series of tweets late on Wednesday. The revived cleric said it was disappointing that people were still killing in the name of God. It therefore called on the Nigerian government to ensure that religious rights are protected. That was the news, but before we go, here's a quick recap of the major headlines once again. No wonder everyone wants to be president. Peter P. Square on Accountant General's arrest. No plan to ban Facebook, federal government says. Victoria's mood of Oman Bikano and his legal team in court. It is hard for me to find a boyfriend because of the content I post on Instagram. I am not what you guys think I am. Self-acclaimed president of sex workers. Police bust 29 deadly kidnappers, recover 41 AK-47 rifles and others. Unrest in Abuja, police to investigate root cause of day day crisis. Finally, half bishop of Canterbury, OPC, condemned Deborah's lynching. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media pages. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. On YouTube, Babag Bagede Imo TV. Kindly click on the red subscribe button, like, comment, and share. For hardware placement, please call the number shown on your screen. Thank you for watching. Good afternoon once again. I'm Jibril Munirat.